This is what the Reed Jeffrey video said about calculating the uncertainty on your average value. We're not going to do it like that. These symbols here just mean the average value of A, here with a little line on the top, plus or minus some uncertainty on that average value. And the video was right. The more values we measure, so the more trials we do, the better we're going to know the value of the true value of A. So we need to somehow indicate that when we calculate our uncertainty. And we can do that one of two ways. The first way is a more statistically rigorous approach, which involves taking the standard deviation of these values here, of your trials, and then dividing by the square root of n. The standard deviation is a statistical analysis of the data, and it tells you how much the spread is of that data. Multiplying it by 2 just says that 90, if I did one trial, 95% of the time it would fall within two standard deviations of the mean. When I divide by the square root of n, that's basically saying the more trials I'll do, the smaller this uncertainty will be. So I'll know that average value better. you can calculate the standard deviation in a pretty straightforward way, either using Excel or even your calculator. A slightly less statistically rigorous approach, but still something that will be okay for um, our purposes, is to look at the range of the data. This half range expression at the top here represents a, a spread of the data. It says how far it's spread. So what we imagine is that the average should lie somewhere in between the maximum and the minimum, and that half, the, di the difference between those two, should give us the plus or minus. How big could it be? How much above the mean could it be? and how far below the mean or the average could it be. And again, the square root of n, we've just stolen from this expression over here, which says that um, as we increase the number of trials, then we, we know that average value, value a bit better. So one of those expressions, either this one with the standard deviation or this one with the half range, is what you can use to calculate the uncertainty delta on your average value that you calculated from a number of trials.